game, she got two or three hits. Hits that ball deep and off the base of the wall. Lane comes around third, and now the throw gets away at third base. Lane scores, and it's 1-0 Jaguars. So we see this hit from Todd just continues to carry out to the field. Lane, excuse me, Smith over there at second was tagging up, whereas Todd at first was thinking, it's dropping the entire way, I need to go. And if she does that, Foster would swing and miss. Ball four, and it's two to nothing. Here's the one-two pitch, ball hit on the ground to Foster. They'll go to second one and not in time to turn a double play. So a run scores from third as McKay slides home, cutting the South Alabama lead in half. And the payoff pitch. In the air, deep left field, going back to the wall, and it's gone! And Jaden Mount just hit the ball over the left field wall to tie the game at two, and she's gonna be mobbed at the plate. She's 0 for 2. Coin goes after the first pitch and hits it to center field. Minahan has it, and we've got extra innings. Our first extra inning game of this Sun Belt tournament as South Alabama and ULM are tied at 2 as we'll head to the 8th. 3-2 pitch. Ball is hit into left field for a base hit. Coming around third and scoring is Mayo. Headed into second is Smith, and Allie Smith delivers her fourth RBI of this tournament to put South Alabama on top three to two. She's got really good speed. Here's the 0-1 pitch to line. Popped her up, and this should do it. Gruwich, the first baseman, takes it in the circle, and South Alabama has defeated ULM by a final score of 3-2. The Jaguars advance to the Friday semifinals in the loser's bracket and will play tomorrow at 2 o'clock Central Time against the winner of our next game coming up.